Hello, my name is Kay, and this is Castle Tulage, your home defense network. Uh, today's uh, topic is going to be traveling with um, your handgun or a shotgun. Um, I have never traveled cross country with um, um, any of my guns. I've never really uh, considered it for some reason, and uh, I'm correcting that right now. So I'm just going to go through a little bit of the processes. If you are new, and uh, you want to bring your handgun because you do have a concealed carry or, or the situation for for that purposes. This is going to uh, help you uh, go along in in this scenario. Um, the 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 data I'm going to be giving you is is mainly from uh, USACarry.com, uh, also the N, uh, NRA website. Now, I, I want to caution people that um, just because it tells, uh, comes from these two websites, don't take it as the gospel of what you really need to take a look at. Um, I found several errors on the USA uh, Carry website that are not consistent with the state of California and are not consistent with, uh, with other states that I have uh, been looking at. Um, so those are very good general resources, but when you're dealing with uh, gun carry laws in the states that you're going to be going through and I'm going to be showing uh, the, the states that um, that I went through um, while driving and you really need to go to that specific state and you know read what they have uh, some states just had a uh, uh, general information some states just had uh, had the entire code in there for you to download and put it in a PDF form or, or, or whatever you want um, and so this this particular video is just going to be driving through the country and I did take a flight home and it was the first time I I uh, checked uh, declared a handgun at the airport and I'm going to be taking another trip here shortly and I'll be doing that part of traveling with your your handgun on a later video sometime after the 15th of the month okay so my particular situation is that from LA right here I was going to go to to Omaha. Okay, now when you're when you're picking and choosing your route, you also kind of have to, you know, what are the CCW carry uh, states that you have, and and what are the reciprocity laws? And for me, I am working on my California CCW. What I have is my Utah, my Arizona, and off the map here on Florida. That is approximately going to be giving you about 40, about 40 states in the union that you can legally concealed carry. From here, from um, Southern California to Omaha, you know, the obvious choice would be going through uh, Colorado, right? Well, Colorado's reciprocity laws absolutely suck. And even before uh, the Aurora shooting, I was, um, I already planned my uh, trip around Colorado and one way would have been um, about 40 miles more and the other way is about a hundred miles more okay to me avoiding a state that reciprocity is weak and allows people to be uh, shot in movie theaters and in churches and in other situations in what they call a gun free zone um, it, you know James Holmes, he was literally shooting fish in a fish tank. Um, and if you want to go through a state like that, um, you, know, you, you can. You know, I, since I live in the state of California, I have to deal with uh, um, deal with that right now, and, I, and I'm planning on um, control, uh, curtailing that. Uh, one of the ways that you could have gone is, you know, through Utah and up and over I-80 into uh, into Wyoming, into Nebraska. Or you can come down here, go through Phoenix, cut across through a bunch of national forests and um, Indian reservations, and uh, come into New Mexico and then uh, cut across Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska. Typically, what I'd probably recommend is keeping it simple, going through less municipalities as possible, and that would be your northern route. Your northern route would have just been um, Nevada, a little bit of Arizona. People don't know that if you're traveling on I-15, you still have to go to Arizona. So you'd have to go uh, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Wyoming, Nebraska. And um, that would have been one, two, three, four, five, uh, five states that you have to you know, just discount California. Um, <laughs> a lot of people would like to do that anyway. Or you can go through Arizona, uh, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, 
and Nebraska, and guess which way I went? <laughs> yeah, I went this way. Um, I, I just like this route much more. I, I've driven it, uh, traveled it much easier, and it, it's easier than being on interstate. I wanted to stay off the interstates as much as possible, so from Phoenix up into uh, Holbrook, all, all that was uh, back road, two lane highways, and it was nice. There's no one on it, and then once you get to Tucum Carry, um, you're cutting across, um, um, going through Statford, Hooker, Liberal, and all the way up to uh, to Omaha. Okay. Now, since I and this route was 100, uh, about 89 miles longer than what it would do on the northern route. So what I did is um, I got on all the websites of all the states, and I also, you know, I'm kind of a, I'm an engineer nerd. Um, so I had everything, you know, all lined up and, and color coded here of all the states that I was going through. The pink is all the states that I was going through. So I went to that uh, specific state and I started reading all the laws and well, not all the laws, uh, the main majority of the laws. And what I really discovered is that since I'm just driving through them, you know, like uh, Oklahoma, you know, let's see, driving through Arizona, I only stopped once. New Mexico, I stopped twice. Uh, Texas and Oklahoma, I didn't stop anywhere. And then in Kansas and Nebraska, I also stopped, okay? So what I actually uh, did was... I fell everything back to the California CCW laws, okay, with uh, other exceptions that I know, especially with the Arizona, okay, since it is close and I, and I got the training for, uh, for Arizona, I'm kind of up to date on Arizona also. So what I did is to just to make everything easy, I went with California laws and a little bit of Arizona, okay. The main things with, the, with California is school zones, government state parks, national parks, um, you know, Utah has uh, places of worship, also Arizona, um, uh, tribal land, uh, that kind of thing. Um, and then what I also found out was that if you're driving on a road and you're going through a state park or a, uh, um, a tribal land, just as long as you stay on the, the highway and your feet aren't on the ground, you shouldn't have any problems. So if you are traveling through that, especially uh, out here in the West, if you know that you're going through a state park, a national park, an Indian, an Indian reservation, that kind of thing, a lot of the Indian reservations, especially in New Mexico, are also serving gas now. Um, so you pulling off into a casino, a casino is another thing that uh, CCW um, states, and a lot of states don't um, don't like you carrying guns in, in, into casinos. Uh, New Mexico is a perfect example because it's also a tri tribal land also. So that's what I did is I kept everything nice and simple and um, in congruent. So I don't have to be second guessing. You know, the perfect example is that if you do have a CCW um, in California, only one county in the state of California requires you to tell. Now, this is another ca caveat. In Orange County, the Orange County Sheriff's Department requires you to notify an Orange County Sheriff's Department immediately that you have a CCW. Now, now if you are in a, like in uh, Santa Ana, I'm not exactly sure if you're required by law to, to express it. And I don't know about the other states here. Um, I think it's just probably a good idea to, you know, you're dealing with a um, a man in a car by himself um, going through these things, and um, I, I, I'm just going to tell the officer that you know I have a, a registered or a CCW firearm, and I'm just declaring it to him. And if you keep everything nice and consistent, you shouldn't have any problems uh, for the most part. You know, another thing is bars. Um, even a restaurant that serves alcohol in some states is a, is a no-no. So again, bring it down to lowest common denominator. Well, this is getting a little long. I'm going to be cutting it uh, short a, a little bit more. Websites, USA Carry, NRA, all the specific uh, um, laws of each state. Go check them out. Go download them and print out all er, everything in here, especially for uh, reciprocity. Again, my name is Caden. This is Castle Tulu, Joe Home Defense Network. Bye-bye.